Okay, here is the turntable. Uh, good evening, radio, and everybody else from your channel. It's pretty simplistic. You have your tracks, whatever size, shape, or whatever they are, with your cart, etc. And you just oops, push the cart on. Make sure it goes all the way. Come round. Turn the paddle till it's in spot and then push the car off. Now you could um, connect ropes and pulleys and things to each end of this, that's no problem and would be pretty easy to do. Uh, you just need to disconnect whatever pulley system you're using to travel this way and then reconnect with the, the pulley this way. Um, but you'd only need really one probably to get up and down. Uh, now how this is built, very simple. Just put a, um, a one-sided catch block on the ground and if I take a few of these away whoops, uh, take one more just put your um, cross piece directly on there. Now remember this has got to be long enough to accept the cart. So whatever length the cart is then that's the length that this has to be. Um, and I recommend putting a block at the end to uh, to just stop it from going too far. It tends to get a bit carried away. So really that's that very simple little turntable um, that you know just put these on each side and that'll pop it into place when it goes around although it does actually go a little bit too far um, because you can't get this block the catch block in the center of the um, big boy block then it, it it is a little off center but you know you can just stand on the end and gently maneuver it so that it's perfect so there you go now I have been thinking about your Mordor gates too, Radio, and I think I have come up with a solution for you. How's about these to go out on the front two blocks uh, of the castle? Um, you just need a little catch thing on it, because I've just loaded the game again and it seems to um, force them open. but. Yeah, you could have some fun decorating it. I put these in the same pattern that you've got them on the, the um, your house banner, and then to sort of open them. <laughs> this is not brilliant, but it will do the job. Um, just scroll. Uh, okay, you'd need to build a little platform or make this a bit lower or whatever. These could go at the bottom too, in theory, uh, and then. Just shift F to open and then to close them you need to use the F key, well the way I've got it set up you need to use the F key to put some, um, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, excess into the rope so that it can actually close again because remember you're setting the length of the rope when you attach this. That's why in the cable car you need it to be um, right up the end of the track before you connect this end to that end so that that rope is then set at that length and then travel the other way down there and attach this rope to here and that gets that set to the right length. Um, now once again, I, yes I'm in creative, it's just a hell of a lot easier to, um, to test all of this stuff out. So if I now go shift F, not F, and travel along with it. She jiggles about a bit at the moment. But just settle down. You relax. Take a chill pill. 
I'll just have a sip of my coffee in true radio style. This is still a problem with the physics within the game, but um, if you just release the pressure a little bit, you need to be on the side to do this when it's shaking like that. That should slow it down a bit and it'll eventually settle down. Um, this is not the best idea, I don't think. I think the other way I had it was much better where these were the pulleys. Um, so from here, that way, um, but of course they're not connected at the moment. So, But that's probably a better look for you in uh, daylight, I am sorry that <laughs> the other one was in the middle of the night. I've actually set it to permanent daylight here. Um, but four along the top seems to be the most stable. You definitely need two front and back to keep it on track, and this is just a single track. So, and two on the bottom seems to work okay, although I also had some success with three. Uh, so, yeah, the other thing is make sure you turn the wheels opposite sides because the more balanced you can get this whole contraption, the, um, let's just try and the less wobble and shake and everything you'll, you'll get in it. Um, but the beauty of it is to be able to get it to go up to your... Um, well, I thought actually this might look really good going from your two towers. Um, if we just go like that, you'll see that you can just keep it going. The tensile strength of this... Um, wood is, is just amazing. Um, anyway, you can go like forever um, and it will still take the weight of the uh, of the cart. So that's probably, as I say, a better look for you at, um, at how it's all done. There's no sneaky bits in it or anything. It's all pretty straightforward. Um, no engineering degree here, but um, I do have a Masters of Information Technology and about 40 years of problem solving in Navy, security, um, etc. So you tend to think on your feet a bit. Alright, if anyone's got questions, um, just leave them down the bottom and I can, uh, can get back to you. Um, I hope I solved the young guy's problem with the um, the crane that he was having. I haven't heard back from him, so I don't know whether I did or not. Um, but yeah, look, if you don't mind, I'd appreciate you hitting a like, just so that I know uh, how many people are actually getting something out of this. Uh, I don't mind doing them. Um, so if, uh, if it's giving people some information and helping them do stuff, then I'm more than happy to keep going. Um, so there you go. And as I said, there's your gates of Mordor. You can make them as big as you like. I just made them 10 by 10. Um, and all you do is just stick the catch block onto the side of the big boy block. And then build it up from there. So, you know, you could get a bit um, fancy about it, like I've sort of done on the front there, just to make it look a bit more um, aggressive. <laughs> all right. hope that's um, been of help to you. Uh, folks and as I say relatively simple just to catch block on the ground and away you go have fun and I hope you and Variety have a great holiday and we'll see you in a week or so cheers